Texas sent another bus loaded of migrants to Kamala Harris' home. About 50 migrants, including a one-month-old baby, have been sent in a bus from Texas to the Washington D.C. residence of Vice President Kamala Harris. In the latest move by Republican-led state to transfer migrants unannounced across the country, the bus led off the migrants were believed to be mostly Venezuelans outside the Naval Observatory, the traditional home of U.S. Vice President, on Saturday morning. They had been sent by the governor of Texas, Greg Abbott, while another group were flown to Martha Vineyard in Massachusetts on a flight organized by Florida Governor Ron DeSantis earlier this week. Democratic politicians, immigrants, advocates, and lawyer have decreed the transfer and call for them to be investigated for potential track kicking offense. In an interview filmed on Friday, Harris told Vice News, "They are playing games. These are political stunt with real human beings." She added, "I think it's the height of irresponsibility, much less just frankly a dereliction of duty when you are elected leader to play those kind of games with human lives and human being." A bot also sent three buses of migrants that arrived in New York City on Saturday. Abbott had already sent two buses of migrants to Harris resident on Thursday, containing about 100 people from Colombia, Cuba, Guyana, Nicaragua, Panama, and Venezuela. The latest transfers are escalations of a series of action by Texas and Florida, both led by Republican, to move migrant without warning to Democratic leanings area. On Wednesday, DeSantis of Florida chaired two plans to take about 50 migrants, adults, and children to the wealthy liberal island of Martha Vineyard in Massachusetts, forcing local residents to scramble help provide food and shelter for unexpected newcomers. Several of migrants told journalists there were nobody at the airport to greet them, and they walked almost four miles to help in the town, where they put up a church overnight. Desantis has said that every community in America, not just those on the border with Mexico, should be sharing the load in dealing with what he has framed as a failed border policy by Joe Biden. Abbott said that he will continue to send migrants to Santa Cruz cities until Biden and Harris step up and do their job to secure the border. Biden, however, has condemned it Republican for using people as politic props. What they are doing is simply wrong," the U.S. president said on Friday. "It's an un-American. It's reckless, and we have a process in place to manage migrant at the border. We are working to make sure it's safe and orderly, human." Some charities that worked with new migrants have urged that the transferees were misled as to where they're going, meaning they were essentially trafficked by the Republican governor. The migrants affected are largely those who are legally in the U.S., at least temporary, while their claim to stay, including to asylum to escape violent regimes, are processed. Last week, a two-year-old who arrived in New York from Texas was hospitalized for dehydration, and a pregnant woman on the same bus was in severe pain, according to advocates and city official. Volunteer groups often wait hour for buses arriving from Texas in a designated place of Manhattan ports of Authority Bus Terminal. That's all for today. Thank you and goodbye.